Remember, we're going very slowly right now. You see, and the car is... Whoa, 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 whoa. These are the different ways of stalling a car, and I'm going to show you how to avoid them. So that's the first one. So one of the main ways people store the car is by bringing the clutch up too fast. Let's say you're ready to move and then you bring up the clutch too quickly like that. You see, the car will cut up, it will stall, if there's no more power from the engine. To prevent that from happening, what you need to do is count to three when you start moving. That way, you're gonna release the clutch a lot slower. It'll show you. So once the car starts moving now, I'm gonna count one, two, three, and then slowly release the clutch. That way, I'm not going to stall. When you're moving off, first gear is the best gear to move off in, but sometimes they might leave it in three by mistake, or they might actually put it into three thinking they put it into one, and they'll try to move off now in third, and I'll show you what will happen if you try to move off in third. Even if I use that same technique of counting slowly, I'm gonna try one, two, see, straight away the engine cuts out because it's not a good gear to move off in. So whenever you've stopped, it's a good idea to go into first gear, and sometimes people forget, so what I, what I teach my learners to do is get into the habit of checking each time before you move off. So when you're stopping as well, get into a habit of getting into first gear as you're stopping. So that way you get into a routine and then you don't forget. Or even if you're in first gear, let's say you've stopped and then you're in first, but you're not sure if it's in first or not, just take it out of gear, push it all the way to the left and then up again. That way you know you're definitely in gear one. So when you move off now, you're not going to uh, stall because it's in the correct gear for moving off. Another reason you might stall is even if you got it in the correct gear, gear one, and then you looked all around, it's trying to move off now, you might have forgotten the handbrake. And if you do that, whoop, you see, the car struggles because the handbrake is still trying to stop the car from moving. So when you try to move off in first, it's gonna stall because your handbrake's on. To prevent that from happening, if you're, when you're moving off, you shouldn't be seeing any red lights on the dashboard. So right now I've got the a red light there telling me that the handbrake's on. That's kind of a, a, a basically a red flag that I shouldn't be trying to move because there's a red light there. So when I see that, uh, that'll give me a little hint so I know that the handbrake's on. And sometimes people release it, but not all the way. So if I release it just like that, the warning light's still on. You wanna make sure you release it all the way until the handbrake sign is off. That way when you move off now, it should be nice and smooth. Also, when you move off with the handbrake on, you're going to feel the car struggle. It's going to feel a bit weird. And when he does that, don't just ignore it, thinking that, you know, it's going to sort itself out. Look, see what's happening. And sometimes as well, if you move off, you actually might hear the alarm go off telling you that the handbrake's on. In that case, you should just take it off and keep moving safely. Another way you can stall a car is when you're stopping and if you don't use the clutch when you're stopping. So let me show you what I mean. So if I'm driving now, then I want to, I want to aim for that box over there. So I'm going to stop for that in that box, but I'm not gonna press the clutch down and then you see what happens, you see? So the car's struggling and then it stalls because when you're stopping, you always need to put your clutch down all the way just as the car's about to come to a full stop. If you don't do that, it's going to stall. So if you're in first gear, it's a lot easier to press the clutch down first before you brake, so that way you're gonna have a much smoother brake and you're not gonna stall. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna aim for the same box again and once I get to like here, I'm gonna put my clutch down all the way and then brake gently that way. I'm not gonna stall. Another way you might stall is, let's say you've come to a nice smooth stop and you've done it properly. Sometimes here people get too comfortable and then they just, you know, come off the clutch. You don't wanna do that because now the car is still in gear and you're gonna stall because the car is trying to move that because you've told it to move by bringing the clutch up. So to prevent that from happening, what you should do, each time you've come to a full stop, don't get too relaxed, think there's always something you have to do before you remove your feet from the pedals. What I always say to my learners, there's usually two things that you've got to do, two main things, which is put the handbrake on and then go into neutral. Once you've done those two things, then you wanna come off smoothly off the clutch. That way, you're not going to stall. Because let's say you've left it in gear by mistake, and then you've come up, they come off smoothly, yeah? You hear the engine, you hear the engine starting to fire up, you hear the car trying to move. That way, it will warn you that something is wrong, so you can put your clutch down again and go into neutral. But if you were to bring up too fast, by the time you've realized your car's already moved forward and you've stalled. So bring up the clutch smoothly, then, oh, it's on, it's still in gear, go into neutral, bring up smoothly again, and it's nice. So another way people might stall is going into the wrong gear. So let's say I'm aiming for gear two now, but I go into gear four, like that, you see? It starts to, it's, it's not good for the car, and you see? suddenly it stops. 
if you go into a really high gear at low speeds, the car is going to struggle. And to prevent that from happening, practice your hand movement to get the right gear. So if you want to go into gear two, make sure your hand is placed like this. And then with my, with my hand placed towards the left, I'm going to push towards the left and then pull down into second gear. That way I'll get into the correct gear. You can stall on the junction as well when you're turning into a road. Okay, so right now I'm in third gear. I'm going to coast into this turn. I'm going to go slowly so I can make the turn nice and smooth. But then people will bring the clutch up now when it's in third gear. But remember, we're going very slowly right now. You see, and the car's whoa, 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 whoa. See? It's not good for the car. The car starts making lots of noise, starts shaking, and it's stalled because we were in the wrong gear. Yeah, so that's why you don't want to coast around corners because sometimes when, you, when you've gone around the corner and you bring your clutch up, it's going to be in the wrong gear. That's why you want to be in the correct gear before you turn and with your clutch up. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I'm in third gear right now and I want to turn into that road over there. I'm going to check my mirrors and signal left. I'll go into second gear before the turn and then bring my clutch up. So now my clutch is engaged, the gear is engaged, I'm in second gear, I can make the turn and there's going to be no nasty surprises because I'm in the correct gear for this turn. If you find yourself in the wrong gear, let's say you've gone into the wrong gear by mistake or you've turned and you've realized that's the wrong gear, you can actually just change into the correct gear while you're moving. So I'll show you what I mean now. So let's say for this one, I'm in fourth by mistake, and then so the car starts rumbling, it's making lots of rumbling noises. I can actually just put my clutch down, brake a little bit, and get into second. That way, I can keep moving without stalling. Anybody behind me is always not gonna get a nasty surprise when I suddenly stop, I can keep the car moving safely.